Welcome to the 30 day static standing balance challenge. Let's jump in and get started. Welcome to day one of our 30 day static standing balance challenge, where we are going to work on improving our stability while our feet remain planted on the floor. I'm thrilled you're here. It shows your determination to make yourself better. So before you jump in, be proud of who you are. Let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is safety because we want to challenge our stability, challenge our balance, yet we need to be safe at the same time. So in order to do this, I encourage people to create a balance station somewhere in the house, a station where you have boundaries, solid boundaries around you for safety. Now, a few examples could be something like a wall and back with something sturdy in front, sturdy as in a solid walker or a chair, where you're approximately a half, half foot away and you have those boundaries on both sides. Now, another fantastic option is a corner, and that's what I'm going to use today so that I will have boundaries on both sides of me and in front. So in order to set us up within a corner, we are going to approach the corner first. And I do not have a walker so that you can see the exercises. But once again, have a solid walker, something in front for safety. So what happens here is we approach the corner and we back all the way up until your heels feel that the, the corner on both sides. Now from here, bring your hips back so that your hip bones feel the corner at each wall. And now your shoulder blades should also feel each wall. Your hands should be down. So now you should feel each boundary on all part on each side of your body. And you know where your safe boundaries are. You have your walker in front. From here, take a small, maybe a half step forwards. Reset, feel those boundaries, know where they are. So that if you lose your balance, you have boundaries on all sides of you. And that is our setup for today. Exercise number one. The first thing we're going to do is focus on our default position. So here we are in our place of boundaries, our balance station. You have your stable surface in front. We're gonna start by trying to let go of it. So here we are, if you want to hover, you can. If you have a walker, you can keep both hands hovering on top of it if you need it. If you need to put one finger down, go ahead. But what we're going to do is focus on our default position here for 30 seconds, okay? Now, a default position is center, where our center of gravity is in our base of support. Our default position is not on our heels and it is not on our toes, it is centered. So if you are standing on some mud, you have a solid footprint sinking you down and it's even on all sides. Your heels are not digging into the mud and neither are your toes. Your footprints are sinking down. So go ahead and focus with me on that default position, that posture, Perfect, we established our default position. Exercise number two. Now, after we've established our default position, we are going to go ahead and progress into some ankle sways. So to do this exercise, our body is straight like a tree. We are going to sway in the wind. Keep your body straight, sway your weight onto your heels, and then sway it back forwards onto the toes. Sway on the heels. Keep your back straight. Sway on the toes, okay? So I want you to go ahead and practice this for one minute. You're straight the entire time. They say pretend like you're a tree swaying in the wind yet rooted in the ground. So your hips are not bending completely straight as far as you can without losing your balance. 
as you get better at this, go ahead and sway further or hold it at the end range. So you can hold it all the way back, all the way forwards. So your default position, so now you're shifting as if you're on the mud, your heels are gonna sink into the mud. Center, your toes are going to sink into the mud. Center, back, center, forwards. Perfect job with those ankle sways. Number three, chest expansion. Start by feeling your boundaries around you so you know where they are. You have boundaries on each side and something stable in front. So to do this exercise, we're going to start by both arms being forwards, okay? Stretching them straight ahead and together. Holding this here with me. Now we're going to separate those arms, bring them to out and hold that position. Now bring them forwards. If this is easy for you, close your eyes. Bring them apart. And together, that was two. Focus on your default position. Out. If you're on your heels, bring your weight centered. Same thing on the toes and in. That was three. Out. And in. That's four. We're going to do eight. Out. Focus on your default position. Good. Five. Out. Six, out, seven, out, and eight. Fantastic job. Number four are some whys. So once again, put your hands back real quick, feel your boundary. Do you know where you're at? If you've crept forwards, step back again, back to center. All right, so for wise, you can either hover over your device or your chair, or you can cross your arms to start with. So we're gonna start here, start with your default position, centered. We're going to separate those arms and make a Y or a goal post whichever you prefer. Shoulder blades are back and down. And then bring it down again. Now, if this is very easy for you, start to learn to close those eyes. All right, but by itself, focus on your default position. Your center of gravity is in your base of support. You're not on your heels, you're not on your toes. Focusing on that default position. Okay, this was three. When you bring those arms, those shoulder blades are back and down. This is good for our posture. That's four. Up and out, goal post or away. Five. Pay attention to your feet. What does it feel like right now? Pay attention. Six. Up into a Y or a goal post. Seven. And it's good to go slow. The slower we go, the more we challenge the proprioceptive system. And eight. Fantastic job. Number five, head turns. 
Start by putting your hands on the wall so that you are still in your boundaries, okay? Know where they are. Let go, you still have something stable in front of you. From here, we're gonna turn our head to the left. Turn your head and hold it there. We're gonna hold this position, pay attention to your feet, your weight shifting. Keep your center of gravity in your base of support. Now turn your head to the right and hold it there. If you are dizzy, please keep your hands, maybe one or two, three fingers on the walker. Hold on, don't turn your head as far or stop the exercise. Now turn your head to the left. That is one. A little bit of dizziness is okay. A lot of dizziness means you really need to hold on for safety. Turn your head to the right. If this is too easy for you at this point, go ahead and close your eyes. Turn your head to the left. That was two. Focus on your feet. Feel the weight shift. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. That was three. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. That was four. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. That was five. Very good. Head turns up and down. Feel your boundaries. You know where they are. Okay, so start by turning your head straight down. Hold it there with me. If this makes you dizzy, hold on to your surface. One, two, three, four fingers or so. All right, turn your head straight forwards, and if you can, turn it up. Hold it there. If this makes you very dizzy, if the room spins, if you get vertigo, please do not do this exercise, okay? Turn your head down and hold it there. A little tiny bit of dizziness might be normal, but a lot of dizziness, moderate to severe, means that you either need to hold on or stop the exercise and up. A little bit of dizziness is normal. Wavering is normal. If this is too easy for you, close your eyes. Turn your head down. Turn your head up. That's three. Turn your head down. Technically that was three. Turn your head up, that's four. Remember, safety first. A little bit of wavering is normal. Turn your head down. Turn your head up. If your weight shifts on your heels, pay attention to that. Bring it forward, center it. Turn your head down. Fantastic, that was five. Number six, gaze stabilization. Start by putting your hands on the walls, know your boundaries around you. If you've moved, get back into that safe position. Let go. I'm gonna quickly demonstrate this exercise. We're gonna locate a dot on the wall, a target, and keep our eyes fixated on that target. The eyes will stay fixated while the head turns. The head will turn left, and right while the eyes stay fixated the whole time. Everyone's gonna go at their own pace. The goal is to get faster. Faster without that target getting blurry and faster without dizziness increasing to moderate to severe because a little bit of dizziness is normal. We're gonna go for one minute, but please stop. If you get dizzy more than moderate to severe, that means maybe we need to rest or go slower. I'm going to start the timer at our self pace Keep the eyes fixed, turn the head. One minute, at your own pace, 
Stop if you need to. Slow it down if you need to. If it's easy and the target is not moving, or you're getting better, then quickly, not quickly, but go ahead and increase the speed here at your own pace, okay? We're doing this for one minute. You have your boundaries around you. You have your steady surface in front, your own pace. Eyes are fixated, head is turning. Everyone's at a different pace. Stop when you need to stop. Mild dizziness is normal. Please slow it down, or if the target gets blurry, double vision, please slow it down or stop. Almost there. All right, fantastic job. Same exercise, up and down, gaze stabilization. Keep those eyes fixated on that target while you turn your head up and down at your own pace. If you get moderate to severe dizziness, please stop or slow down the movements. If it's getting easy and that target is not moving and it is staying stable, then you can increase the speed here. Go at your own pace. We're doing this for a minute. Keep your eyes fixed on the target while your head turns. Your eyes are not moving. Your head is moving up and down. Own pace, safety first for one minute here. Fantastic job. Number seven, feet together. Take those hands, touch the boundaries around you. Make sure you're in your safe place. Hold on to your walker or your steady surface while you put your feet close together, as close as you feel comfortable with the goal to be that they're touching. We're going to try to hold this position for one minute. So go ahead and try your best to either let go or put one, two, three fingers on your surface. You have your boundaries around you. Trying to keep your feet together. Focus on your default position. Try to keep your center of gravity centered into the base of support. If you're wavering, that's normal. Now, if this is way too easy for you here at 26 seconds, go ahead and close your eyes and hold that position with me as best you can. Fantastic job. Number eight, heel raises. Hold on to your walker, your surface. Bring your feet apart, hip width. Let go of that walker, feel your boundaries. Are you still centered into your boundaries? Let go of your boundaries, back to your walker. Hold on to your walker for this exercise. We are going to do heel raises. We're gonna lift our heels up off the ground slowly lower. You're gonna hold on for this exercise, slowly lower, keep your knees straight. Do not bend your knees. If this gets too easy, do 10 on one leg only and 10 on the other. Once again, you can hold on for balance. Here we go at our own pace for one minute.
fantastic job. Number nine, eyes closed. All right, start by touching your boundaries. Feel those around you. Are you still in a safe place? Let go. From here, we're going to try our best to close our eyes. And if you need to start closing them for only three seconds and then opening them, that's fine. Work your way up. Five seconds, eight seconds, 10, all the way up as long as you can. So we're gonna let go of our surface. We're gonna hang out here for one minute. Once again, you can start with one, two, three seconds at a time and work your way up. Recenter every time you lose your balance. You lose it, recenter again and start over. We're working our way up, eyes closed. Pay attention to the bottom of your feet. Is your weight on your heels, your toes? If you're on mud or you're sinking down, are your heels sinking? Or is your whole foot sinking together? Pay attention to that default position. This is not easy. So if you need to take breaks in between, take breaks in between. Working our way up. Fantastic job. And number 10, last but not least, our shift and lift. So first, make sure you feel those boundaries. If you are at a corner, hold on to your chair device and step forwards a tiny, tiny, maybe a half a foot forwards. Know where your boundaries are. If you're at the wall, you don't need to step. Feet should be about hip width apart. We are going to practice shifting all of your weight onto your left leg. Now try to lift your right heel. Hold that position, feel the weight shift. Then shift all of our weight to the right foot, lift the left heel, hold that position, feel the weight shift. We're going to shift it back and forth and then lifting for one minute. If this is easy for you, go ahead and try closing your eyes. Fantastic job. Congratulations for finishing day one of our 30 day static standing balance challenge. If you are curious of why these exercises can be effective or beneficial, check out videos in the description below where we have education on what makes up our balance, our balance strategies, our balance systems so that you know why these can be effective for you. If you enjoyed this video, these exercises, please press like below, check out my channel and subscribe for other educational videos. And then if you enjoyed this, come back. In this challenge, we are going to practice some of those exercises as well as add some more for some diversity because together, little steps, we can make some big gains.